Hello everyone and welcome to this huge tutorial. Today I will show you how to install 4 emulators for your Nintendo 3DS. Today we will install NES emulator, SNES, Game Boy, Game Boy Color that is in one emulator and Game Boy Advance uh, emulator. Uh, this works well in a new 3DS but if you haven't a new 3DS don't worry because some games still work on an old 3DS. So, uh, the only way to know if it will work for you is to give it a try. First of all, insert the SD card in the computer. Then download the package that I will leave you in the description. And you will also need some games, ROMs. I will not include this. Open the emulator package. And uh, as you can see here, there is GBA, Game Boy Color and Game Boy, NES and SNES. Uh, if you only want um, GBA, for example, you just copy the MGBA uh, files. If you just want NES, uh, copy the NES files. And if you want demo, copy of all of the files. So, in every folder you will see a CA file, a 3DSX file and some uh, other files. The CA files go to the CIS folder. Only if you want to um, play the install the emulator to the home menu. You will need custom firmware for this. But if you just have Homebrew or you want to play uh, the emulator in the Homebrew launcher, you will need the CIA and you will need all the other files. So if you want to install to the home menu, just use the CIA. If you want both, use all. And if you only want the Homebrew launcher um, version, Copy all the files except the CIA. Okay, so CIAs go to CIA. 3DSX, SMDH, and I think there are some PNGs. Go to a 3DS folder. And I have created an emulator folder to have this organized. And do the process with all of them. Okay, now that you have finished, you uh, want to paste the ROMs or the games in the SD card. So I have here some ROMs that I won't link you in the description, not because I don't want, because I can't. And you need to paste it to the ROMs folder. Well, you can paste it anywhere, but I prefer to have it organized and create a ROMs folder. And inside that folder, create GBA, GB, GBC, NES and SNES. So that's all with the SD card. Let's go to the console again. Okay, so now you need to insert your SD card into the console and turn it on the console. Okay, so if you have custom firmware and you want to install the emulators to the home menu, then, oh sorry. Then you need to open FBI, go to the SD card, CIA's folder, and install and delete all CIA's. Once it's finished, you can return to the home menu, and all the emulators should be installed. Okay, now I will show you how to open them using the Homebrew Launcher and it will be the same for the configuration if you are using the CIA version. So now go to the folder that you created or if you didn't create it just search for the emulators here and here are the emulators. I'm going to start with the NES version. Now you need to go to the ROMs folder, NES, and you can open your games.
to close the emulator, touch the bottom screen and go to exit. Now I will do the SNES. You can see that they are very similar. And the SNES and the NES one are just the same. You can see that the game works perfectly. And I don't know how to do this. Close the emulator, you just do the same as before. Exit, yes. I will now do Game Job, that is, it is the Game Boy and Game Boy Color emulators. You need to go to the ROMs folder and open your games. You have here some settings that you can you can investigate in your own. I'm here you go. Okay, so if you go go to settings with L and R, you can go to display and you can change some settings like the frame skip, scale filter you can make it bigger you can do some things Let's go with MGBA, the Game Boy Advance Simulator. It will automatically search for your GBA ROMs, but if it fails or it doesn't, just go to the ROMs folder, or where you uh, located your ROMs, and open them. With the Y button, you can change the display. I like this one. Keep in mind that these emulators work in some work better, some work mm, very bad in all 3DS, so for example the MGBA, I don't know with other games, but with Mario Kart Super Circuit, if I disable the L2K and set the clock rate to um, the 201, like if it was an old 3DS, you can see that it runs mm, very bad. So, you can try. Also, if you want, I can bring you RetroArch with the PSX simulator. Obviously, only for new 3DS. I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> settings here no so if you want to exit MGBA just close it okay so that was all for today I hope you like this super emulator pack 
and if you want you can request in the commentary section I will bring you a PSX1 oh sorry PS1 or PSX emulator for only new 3ds so that's all for today goodbye